So, Craig, I wanted to talk to you specifically. Uh, in fact, thank you for hanging out. Yeah. Uh, specifically for uh, some of your music, music work. Now, you, I know you have a series that's every Friday. Is that what, where's, this, where's this church at again? Uh, 124th Street in uh, Mount Morris Park West, right on the corner. Uh, it's called Calvary Baptist Church. Mm. Uh, it's 43, what, West 124th Street. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, we've been doing concerts there now for maybe six, seven years. Mm. Uh, our organization is called Harlem Jazz Box. With two exits. Mm -hmm. uh, my business partner, Carolyn Johnson, mm -hmm. we decided we wanted to do concerts, uh, and, uh, and we have a staff. It's, 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 it's really grassroots. Uh, Nola Johnson, who's Carolyn's mother, uh, Joel Hawkins, who does a lot of work with us, and Anton Reed and myself, and we just mm -hmm. been doing these concerts. Uh, the people at the at Calvary Baptist are very been very supportive. We rent the space on Friday nights, mm -hmm. and we go from like uh, seven to nine. Seven to nine, just two hours. Yeah, especially after, with the COVID. You know, because of the COVID, just one set, get people in and get people out. That's that's it. Mm -hmm. Everybody, the space fits what three hundred people, mm -hmm. and so we can get a good sixty-five people in there and be uh, in in. And like in the relationship of social distancing, everybody feels well. And okay. Safe like that. Before that, though, we uh, we did concerts. Uh, and we'd have maybe 100, 200 people in there. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's going to happen as things open up and we find out whatever the new normalcy is going to be. Mm -hmm. But uh, we we have a long track track record. Go to our website HarlemJazzBox.com. Mm -hmm. Spell it, please. H a r l e m b o x x at AOL, I mean, at, uh, I mean, well, man, let's go, let's do this again. H-A-R-L-E-M-B-O-X-X dot com. Oh, wait, wait, we missed the jazz part. Harlem, it's supposed to be Harlem Jazz Box? Yes, yeah. Harlem Box. Harlem Jazz Box. So it'll be H-A-R-L-E-M-J-A-Z-Z-B-O-O-X-X. -Z -Z no, B-O-X-X. -X. Yeah, B-O-X-X. Uh, um, dot com. Right. Okay. And, and, um, We've been, we, we did 58 concerts last year, so, and we would do also, we did, um, we did afternoon concerts on Tuesdays at one o'clock, mm -hmm. but, uh, so we'll, we'll probably get back to that, but the, the basis of it is that this great music that everybody talks about that, that comes out of this, these, this iconic community, there's not enough of it in this iconic community, you know, it's really, uh, and we can't lose that, that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's how, that's how I really think to make the music accessible to people in the geographical space where it was created, where it was formed. And, uh, you know, now with this gentrification going on, we're getting a lot of people who would really like to revise the history of this community. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you can't complain because if you're not going to do something, they will do something. Exactly. You know, I was walking, I was, I want to get back to that, but I was walking and I, and I first, I think it was a hundred, where was I, uh, Nice, whatever it was, and I saw Mittens. I walked past Mittens. Mm -hmm. I said, "Oh, Mittens! It's not like back in the the forties, fifties, something like that. Right? They still here." And so I looked, and it wasn't. A, but, but they said, "Oh, they still function." I said, "Oh, I gotta find out. I gotta, maybe I'll interview the the owner now and find out what's going on. So mm -hmm. maybe I will get to do that." Yeah. But but yeah, that's what I'm saying. You have these things like Mittens. You, I, I guess uh, who else is still here? I know Cotton Club moved or whatever. There's still there's still maybe. venues that's, that that have, have 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 been going on, and this has been. Uh, been doing things. There's a, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Now, I mean, is isn't your initiative? Sounds like you know, like back in the day, you know, you just have a little spot, you know, or you have a, a, a house party, and whatever it is. Isn't that sort of like in that kind of vein? It's it's cootie tackle. It's about doing for self, doing what we do without a whole bunch of uh, bureaucracy. You know, like you got a dollar, I got a dollar. We pool it together. Let's give a concert this night. Mm. And uh, you know, like going back to. Uh, you know, that history, that entrepreneurial history of, of mm -hmm. people in this community. Mm -hmm. It's just that I'm really focusing on, a lot of people when they talk about Harlem, they always talk about ancient Harlem. They don't talk about mm -hmm. present day Harlem, live Harlem live. Mm -hmm. You know, people want to talk about the Renaissance and it's beautiful and all that stuff. But I'm, I'm talking about post uh, 60s Harlem, mm -hmm. you know, because we've been through a lot of changes mm -hmm. and uh, we're going through a change now. Mm -hmm. We're going through a change now. And so the thing mm -hmm. is, uh, we're gonna be here, and to be here, you have to, you have to produce mm. and just and just do things. Well, I don't want to take too long in this, but just um, 
Just give, just give people, a, a, I don't know, the flavor, the kind of mus musicians. What kind of musicians have passed through? What, what, do you have, what are you scheduled for the next few months? What, what, what? Oh, the, the schedule. That, uh, you have to say everybody, but just yeah, give okay. us a the, the schedule for this month was TK Blue, great alto saxophonist, uh, Don Byron, clarinet. Uh, Don Byron was there? No, he's playing, he's playing this Friday. Playing, I'll be there. I'm there. He's playing this Friday. He's playing this Friday. Uh, we have uh, yeah. Marty Ehrlich. Myself, I play with a, my unit. Uh, we've had uh, incredible people. I mean, people who, and really that was the idea. Really, uh, people have uh, have marginalized what is music in Harlem. Mm -hmm. This is this is valid. This is not valid. This is not valid. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these people don't play in Harlem a lot. Mm -hmm. And they and I really feel that people should hear these people mm -hmm. because it's it's some nonsense the way people have tried to just uh, dictate what is. What is Harlem? What is black? Mm -hmm. You know, you know, you know. Uh, I mean, for years, for years, uh, uh, this community has been like, okay, we we know we got chicken and waffles. We love chicken and waffles, but uh, give me some, uh, give me some wheatgrass. Give me some other, some other, some other foods I can eat. And it's, just, uh, you know, and that's and that's how I really feel about it. Mm -hmm. We need some other food. You know, we need to broaden the broaden the menu. Yeah, broaden the menu. Yeah. Because people have this this notion about Harlem organ trios, which is beautiful, mm -hmm. but it, it, the music is much. I'm, I'm saying, or, what'd you say? Organ trios, you know, like Jack McDuff, oh, 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 oh. you know, yeah, like yeah, the yeah, organ yeah, club yeah, with yeah, the tenor yeah. saxophone, yeah, the organ yeah, player, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know, that's that's uh, stereotypical of what goes on in Harlem. Mm -hmm. But that's it's, it's much broader than that. We were talking about the, the Black Arts Movement with uh, Mary Baraka, and mm -hmm. what it was. Uh, what, 109 or 107, 130, 130th Street, where they had a brownstone. Sunrise used to spend a lot of time in Harlem. Mm -hmm. So people don't associate uh, that, gender, that, that, that part of the music with Harlem, but, and we've changed that, we've really turned that around. Well, that's how Sunrise, uh, uh, Henry, we talked about Henry Duma. Henry Duma was up there with, 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 with Sunrise, you know, hanging out with Sunrise and stuff like that. So, yeah. so everybody, the music, the, the, uh, um, I would say the, the, uh, the writers and everybody, still, will that, figure in? Will you be able to expand to that sooner? To get the writers, the, uh, the painters, or whatever have you. You know, you know, you have those sets where people are doing the jazz thing and then the uh, painters in the background doing the paint and then afterwards you have the picture, hey, blah, 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 those kind of things. Yeah, I refer to it as total art integration. Yeah. Integration. I call it Thai. Oh. And uh, we had that, we had a lot of like, uh, Abby O'Doom from The Last Poets, he mm -hmm. did a couple mm -hmm. of concerts with us, mm -hmm. uh, a couple of different poets. Mm -hmm. We started that way, but it's we, I've always seen it all together. It's all together. It's about just uh, building with this music first for me, because that's the lens I come through. But I'm I'm, I'm really open to just like expanding to all kinds of different uh, you know, disciplines. You, you know, you mentioned Don Byron because remember you you, you were together with Bas when we did Glorious Monster and Bella Horn, a Black Arts piece, the uh, Larry Neal piece, mm -hmm. and we did it as a, as a like a Peter. We have we have the the play. But each character had uh, a musician behind it, and you and Don was in that that piece down okay. at the knitting factory. So that that's the kind of thing I guess you're talking about. You know? uh, it's just it's it's, it's extending it's, it's really extending like you know I, I think Sun Ra was a big influence on me, mm -hmm. and it's that total that total thing like you come mm -hmm. there the dance is moving, the, the art is going on, there's What's visuals that? going on. It's it's it's, 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 it's multimedia before it was multimedia. Mm -hmm. I mean, and if you if you deal with Sun Ra, you have to go like. That's the way Duke Ellington dealt. Mm -hmm. That's the way Jimmy Lunsford dealt. They mm -hmm. had they had whole different shows coming up. Mm -hmm. You know, it's so funny. I've been reading the Duke Ellington book, and Duke Ellington caught a lot of flack when he was playing in Harlem because a lot of people wasn't used to his sound. Mm -hmm. And I and I just I, I laugh at that because any, every time you try new things, it's like people say, "Well, that's not going to work here," and and and, <laughs> and, they're, and they're, they're very surprised because because yeah, yeah, yeah. we're getting very beautiful audiences. Mm -hmm. And then it, and it's, 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 it, it puzzles me because I don't know where they come from. I look at the audience, I'll be like, hmm. Uh, in a way, it kind of bothers me that it's not enough money, people coming from the community yet. Mm -hmm. But they'll come, mm -hmm. it always come when they read it in the other papers. Mm -hmm. Then they say, oh, and it's, it's right. That's how we seem to work mm -hmm. as a people. Mm -hmm. Like when uh, if, if, like if they hear about it in a downtown yeah. paper or stuff yeah. like that. Oh, and they've been there right, yeah. right there. Yeah. I said, read, read the Amsterdam news. Mm -hmm. Read a local paper. Read the Amsterdam Ron Scott writes about us all the time. Mm -hmm. Don't wait until you hear it in the uh, world's world uh, mm -hmm. journal. What's that? The world. Uh, what? I don't know. Come on, you know. Come on, Anthony. No, you. I don't. 
Yeah. I don't. I haven't been in, in the in, World in, Financial in, Times. Oh, 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 oh you mean those, Wall Street Journal World, or, Wall or Street the, Journal, yeah, Times yeah, and all yeah. those papers? That's nice. That's nice. But you know, deal with this locality. This, this, mm -hmm. this it's really important for us. It's mm -hmm. really important for us. Well, there must be some. It's interesting because there must be some uh, tour. Uh, what do you call uh, uh, travel agencies in in Harlem that that you know want to bring people out. You know. They go outside Harlem to bring people in. Right. They, can't they have a component there where they have people in Harlem to go to place? You understand what I'm trying to go? Yeah, we go somewhere, huh? <laughs> no, no, we go we here. In other words, there's a travel agents over there and they could just say, hey, we're organizing this trip. Where, where are we going? Oh, we're going three blocks over there. We have a walking trip. <laughs> Right. We're going to end up. We're going to end up at this church at this concert. I don't know. I'm just. Yeah. You know. No, no, but I mean, it's just making. But it's it's serious. It's like, uh, a, uh, it's a it's an issue that we have to deal with. That you know, of, of really recognizing the beauty in ourselves mm -hmm. as, as, as 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 human beings. Mm -hmm. It's. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. The, this this thing goes through until uh, what? Does this the winter time? To, it's, it's gonna we go run through? all the way, and we 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 have a hiatus during the month of January and February oh, okay. because it's because the weather the, the 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 weather has been the last couple of years. The weather in January mm -hmm. and February has been like, oof. Yeah, but you also need a break. Y'all work yourselves to death. I'm, I'm serious, exactly, Greg. Exactly. I'm serious. Exactly. Oh, yeah. And that's true, too. I don't want to say that, but yeah, you need to break this to regroup, to regroup, get out of here. I like to get, you know, my plan is to be in Africa during January and February. That's where, that's what, that's right. That's a good idea. And good plan. Come on, then come back. Good plan. <laughs> good plan. Okay, now what, the, the last thing I want to talk about, still on the music tip, let me just stop there for that one, okay? Uh, we return in a second. <laughs> 